Hi, I'm Larry from Upright Care Physiotherapy. Thanks very much for expressing the interest in learning about your discs. So we predominantly see people with lower back pain with lower back disc problems. And I thought I'd kind of explain what the disc is. So the disc sits between the two bones, between the vertebra, and it acts like a cushion, like a marshmallow between your vertebra to allow some cushioning effect. Now the structure of the disc is that it has a, a liquid center, but the outside of the disc can be depicted by an onion. So this is an onion and it has many, many layers on the outside of the disc. So what happens when you can have a disc injury, which could be a disc prolapse, a slip disc, a torn disc, a ruptured disc, or bulge disc, they're all the same kind of descriptions of different severity. But what happens is you can tear the outside ring of the disc, or you can tear the outside and the middle ring, or much deeper into the disc, until sometimes the, the, the liquid type center can bulge through the disc or through, through, the, through the rings of, of the disc, and that can cause pressure. So there's different variations, different severities of disc bulges, and that's why there's different terminologies to describe the different disc problems. So if we can, have, if we show you a disc with a clean edge, sometimes you can get a, a, a tear in the edge, and you can have some of the liquid center protruding through the disc, and it bulges outwards. And if it bulges outwards, you can see how close it is to the spinal nerve. So sometimes the disc bulge goes outwards and presses on the nerve, and that's why you can get pain down the leg. So people ask us what we try and do within our practice. And we have a protocol that we try and encourage the, the, the disc fibers to heal, so the torn onion ring to begin to heal. We, we try and encourage the protruding disc substance, so if there's any pressure, to come back towards the central disc. And that eventually scars over. So eventually things tend to heal quite well with these disc problems. So we, we, we have a protocol that we kind of use some, some um, different treatment techniques and different exercises to get the disc back into position, to allow it to heal, and then to have people recover their function and do quite well. In a small amount of cases, we'd work with specialists and surgeons, etc., if it doesn't resolve, but we try and avoid that as much as possible.